Hi everyone, I'm Sky. So if you're a human being, you've probably felt a lovely little emotion called anxiety. Yeah, you know that feeling you get when you're about to take an exam, go on a date, or when someone finds your browsing history? All of them are equally terrifying and I can relate because I've experienced anxiety as well. We're living in a pretty crazy world right now and it's no wonder so many people feel like they're about to mess up their favourite choice of underwear. I'm here to tell you that you're not alone. Well, I haven't ruined a perfectly good pair of Calvin Klein's, but I have had panic attacks and have struggled with social anxiety. I have had my tail tucked so firmly between my legs that I looked well endowed. So I know how it can make you feel. It could be from making a phone call, or suddenly changing your mind at the front of a queue in McDonald's and having to pick something else to eat. Then you turn around and see that everyone's giving you the Luigi death stare and you're like, I am going to die in here. So like everyone who has suffered with anxiety, you'll know that it comes with a whole range of delicious symptoms. Just to name a few, we have trouble concentrating, hyperventilation, increased heart rate, sweating, trembling, feeling weak, trouble sleeping, and basically shitting yourself into a coma. Safe to say these things don't feel very good. So like most people, guess what I did? I looked up my symptoms to see what they meant, only to find out that the internet is not a good place to go in search of comfort. I mean, it sounds like I'm having a rant. Well, actually, I guess I kind of am. But it's true. You try asking in the internet for help with your anxiety. What's that? Your heart is beating fast? That means your heart's gonna explode out of your chest like the chest burster from Alien. What's that? Your legs are like jelly? Well that can be fixed. What we'll do is we'll come on over, chop both your legs off because they've clearly rotten away and are no longer of any use to you. Don't worry though, we won't waste them because we're gonna use them to make a trifle. You'll end up leaving the computer in a straitjacket. So after a very long time, I stopped looking up my symptoms because there's only so many hairs you can split before you end up looking like Fester from the Adams Family. If you suspect there's something wrong though, and you don't know what it could be, the best thing you can do is see your doctor and make sure nothing else is going on. If it turns out that your symptoms are due to anxiety, then there's some steps you can take to get through this. Step 1. Stop researching your symptoms. This can make you feel like your arms are about to drop off. Step 2. Write down when you get the symptoms. Do they happen when you're at work? Going shopping? Being alone? Or maybe when someone asks to borrow your phone and you're just like... Uh, yeah, just one minute. Try to figure out what situation is causing them. Step three, stay with your anxiety. This sounds like the hardest step of all, and it is, but it's the most rewarding. When you stay with the anxiety or panic attacks, you start to retrain your brain into thinking that the situation you're in is no longer dangerous. If you run away from your anxiety, you create a connection between the anxiety and the last place you felt anxious. I'm just gonna come out and say that I think calling it a panic attack is wrong. It sounds dangerous, like an asthma attack. What you're experiencing and what I prefer to call it is an adrenaline rush. It's basically your body saying, hey, you know this normal situation you're in right now? Here's a free surge of adrenaline on the house. Don't forget to tip the OCD waitress on your way out. It feels like being granted extra abilities like becoming a werewolf in Skyrim. Except without the bloodlust, the claws, and the 1000 bounty on Whiterun. Your breathing and heart rate speeds up to provide your muscles with enough blood and oxygen so you can fight against the Forsworn. You have tunnel vision so you can see distant threats such as dragons. And with all this extra oxygen, it's no wonder you feel like you've been drinking skooma all night. To be honest, you kind of feel high, like you've been in a car with Cheech and Chong. When I had a panic attack, I remembered that the adrenaline won't harm me and will eventually wear itself out. I sat there for about 15 minutes and allowed myself to feel everything the anxiety wanted to throw at me. And I told the anxiety to do the absolute worst it could do to me. If I'm gonna sit here and suffer, show me what you got. Show me what you got. This gave me a sense of power and the funny thing is, I realized that the anxiety can only go so far before the adrenaline wears off. This left me realizing that I can sit through the uncomfortable feelings and still be okay. And that feels great. It felt like I came face to face with the final boss in a video game and thought that I wasn't leveled up enough to beat it. But actually, I kicked his butt pretty easily. Screw you, Elduin. Anxiety is like staring down the barrel of a shotgun. Except after a while, you realize that there isn't any rounds in the chamber. It feels dangerous, but it's not. It's a sheep in wolf's clothing. And I know it feels rough for some of you right now, but hang in there. Keep your friends and family close, but not too close because of the pandemic. Gosh, this world needs a hug right now. And I want you to kick anxiety's ass. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know how you you're all doing in the comment section and please like and subscribe for more videos and animations. A big thanks to all of my patrons for helping me keep up the content and if any of you want to become a patron as well the link is always in the description. You'll gain certain perks plus sometimes get to talk with me in my discord server as well. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. See ya!